Welcome to another video, everybody. Hopefully your 2023 resolutions are going great. Mine are doing pretty well. Um, this is week number two of 2023, and this is the second video of 2023. So, so far, we're doing pretty great. I've also been exercising more, which is really good for my health. Um, but enough with the introductions. Today, we're learning how to use the data merge tool in Affinity Publisher 2. All right, so we're gonna start here in Affinity Publisher 2, and we're gonna go ahead and use our text tool to create some fields. We're gonna start out with the brand of the camera, and then create that. We're gonna create another one called camera, and then we're gonna create one called type, and create another one that says sensor. Now, what we're also gonna do is we're also gonna go through and do a picture frame here, because when you're doing the data merge tool, you can actually use text and pictures. And so now we need to actually go through and get our data. So here we are in Google Sheets, and we have a spreadsheet here. Now we're gonna be exporting this to a CSV, which is a comma separated values file, and that uses headers at the top in row number one. So we have camera, brand, type, sensor, and picture, which you see here. And then each row is gonna be a card. You're gonna see this later. So each row is gonna be like its own page, and each column is gonna be, you know, all the data for that specific field. So here we're gonna fill in, this is the R6 from Canon, actually what we're using to film right now, which is pretty awesome. Type, it is a mirrorless, and sensor, it is full frame. Now, you can also put a picture in here, like I said. Now, if you're doing this on Excel, I believe it actually uses the path whenever you export. But if you're going to do this through Google Sheets, it actually, whenever you upload the picture, it goes through like Google's cloud, and then it actually uploads it from there. So you don't get the path. So if you uh, copy the path file from your actual image and paste it into the cell, you'll be able to use it. Like here, we have all of our stuff. So this is our data. Um, I'm only doing one picture. Um, it doesn't really matter. All right, and so once you have all of your data all set, go up here to File, Download, and Download as a comma separated values or a .csv. So now we need to go through and actually bring that file into Affinity Publisher. To do that, we're gonna go up here to Window, Data Merge Manager, click on the bottom left corner here where it says Add Data Merge Source, and go ahead and find that file you just downloaded. Once that's open, you, you'll see it pop up here, and you can go ahead and hit Close for now. Now what we need to do is link our text fields in our picture to the actual fields in the uh, CSV file. So go to Window, References, Fields, and down here you'll see Data Merge and then the name of your CSV file. And we wanna go through and click, highlight all of the text and click on the left side here where it has the header, and you will see that pop up with your little carrots on the side. So camera goes with camera, type goes with type. Now this doesn't have to even be linked. This can literally say anything if you want it to, because it's going to get overwritten eventually anyways. Then click on your picture. We double click on picture here. You'll see it changes to this little picture icon and it's all set. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back up to window data merge manager, and we're gonna select the generate button. Uh, you can hit yes to update all your stuff. Now this is gonna go through, you can close this window. This is gonna go through and create a new document for you. So your old document is still all intact, it creates a new document for you. And you'll see that every single one has a little page now, right? So we have Canon R6 mirrorless full frame. So each row has its own page and each of the fields follow the columns. So we have all of our different cameras here and all the different types. And remember, we only did one picture, but you'll see that if we copy and paste the path, it does work. Now, this is a little bit different for Affinity Publisher 1. The Data Merge Manager in the Fields um, selection area is a little bit different. Um, but I can go ahead and post some of that in the, con in the uh, description for you below. But it's pretty much the same step. It's just moved around a little bit. All right, and that is it for the Data Merge tool in Affinity Publisher. It's pretty simple and great for like things like business cards, where you have to create a whole bunch of them with a whole bunch of different names, and you probably already have all of the data anyways. So if you learned something and you found it helpful, consider hitting the like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. And if you haven't already, check out this video over here for how to use the Quick Grid feature, newly released in Affinity 2.0. It makes mockups so much easier. And that's all I've got for this video. So I'll see you next time. Take care.